Testicles one, two. Testies, we good? testies, we good? Right. testies. I want to start off the podcast by saying that one nut is bigger than the other. <laughs> Um, I really, I really just realized. That I think today. that's with every guy. I feel like every guy has one nut a little bigger and a little bit lower than. No, the no, but mine is like bad. Mine is like, w- like where's the nut? It's like, <laughs> it's like where is the nut? Where's the got, nut? Wait, go? so one is like really high. He got up like a grape. Mine, and a, yeah, mine a grape is, and is like pee. not even dropped. It's just like up, up. It's weird. I think I think I have something wrong. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like a, a non-descending <laughs> testicle or something like that. Sorry, Mariah. Oh, oh my god, wait, I but you've never seen a specialist about it. Or, I, I, yeah, when I was like young, like when there's I was a 16. there's a a nut lower specialist person. You know, you know my yeah. doctor. I don't, <laughs> You've seen one? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like I guess you're maybe. Doc- I don't know. <laughs> but I bet there is like a uh, doctor who specializes in your testicles, like a I, urologist. I, well, I think he's but just that's... your physical doctor, right? Your doctor that just checks, gives you like a checkup every once a year. Yeah, when no? they like bend you over and they pull it from behind to like check check on it. Weird. Mine like actually grabs it and like. It does a little <laughs> thing with Dang. his nose. Dang. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, my. All right. Roll the intro, baby. It's Coffee Toe. It's Coffee Toe, baby. Yeah. Woo. Woo. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm your host, Zane. And I'm your other host, Heath. And today, we're bringing the juice and the funny. Like always, baby. That's what we do every time. To what we were talking about from before. When I went to see like, that doctor that told me there was something wrong with my night, he also told me that there's a chance that I may not be able to have kids. Oh, which, no. Which is, which is crazy. I don't know how he like, knew that or like, how he Zane tested that. Zane tells that to girls. But... He's like, no, no, no. I don't, I don't need to wear a condom. <laughs> my doctor said I can't have kids. <laughs> Wait, I, you're just really? – I've been your friend. We've been your friend for years, and we've never heard about I this. Don't, yeah. I don't believe it. I, I don't think he was right. He's a doctor. He's, he's a, a fucking <laughs> doctor. No, look, like he, look, he went like this. And went, he looked at my nuts and goes – yeah, you might not be able to have kids. How do you fucking see? Wait, how can you what? see that and say that? Yeah. If I was told that I might not be able to have kids, you wouldn't hear the end of it from me. I that would that would affect me really uh, I, yeah, hard. I would bring it up like every week. I said, fuck them kids. I don't need any. All, all right. You know what, baby? I Honestly, guess. maybe it's a good thing that Zane can't have kids. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just adopt. Uh, that's great. From, Wait, from like that's a, so sad. I don't believe it though. I need to go one more time and see. Like what, how much what though? Like I've always wanted to know how much it is to like store your sperm. Like, what's a storage oh, be like on freeze? like like fr- I'd like want to freeze my sperm now right. just in case I'm not able to have kids in the future. But I'm like, oh, good thing I like stored. Oh, mm. you can do. I didn't. You could do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got you mine in the it. fridge. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I should. Have, mine should have happened when I was seven. Oh. Get the freshest, just in case. <laughs> can you can you bust a nut at seven? Uh, I don't know. You know, I busted a nut. I think the first time I busted a nut was in sixth grade. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're getting the juice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, Speaking of bust and nut, I think I have some on my shirt. What is I think it? What oh, is that? Ew. Wait, is that toothpaste? It's toothpaste. Wait, did you get toothpaste like on the couch or something? Oh my! I don't know. I don't know. He is oh, not brushing was... his teeth on the couch, Matt. Like, he's so naive. <laughs> I, I put my Jeez. hand out on the couch earlier today. There was like toothpaste all over it. Oh, it's, oh. Then, it's probably it probably just got all over the place. Oh my, my zipper is. Oh, oh the z- Jesus. <laughs> Apologize. Nah. Apologize. Uh, pause for technical it difficulties. Is gross. Okay, guys, guys, look. I want to share some. I want to share something with you guys. So I have a cr- chronic disorder. I have echo, echo, chlamy- echo chlamydia, echo chlamydia, echophilia, echocalia, echocalia, echocalia is, is where you repeat so, uh, where, when some you always repeat when someone says something. So someone will say something, and you always have to repeat it. Guilty. <laughs> it's basically the meaningless repetition of another person's spoken words as a symptom of a psychiatric disorder. But but what, some what, people like, can like, but it's not always like a disorder. It's just this like habit of speech where like if your friend says something funny, Zane usually <laughs> will just repeat what you said back to you. <laughs> like, I do I do it a you, lot. What do you mean though? Like you'll say. Like imagine you say something. Like you'd be like, you can go like, nah, uh, not today, and, and Zane just, will go, nah, uh, not today. <laughs> I can see that. Well, I mean, we, I feel like everybody does that. Everybody does it with like, um, 
She looked like every other yeah, bitch. She everybody, looked like every other everybody bitch. Everybody in the room will like repeat it. And it'll be like the Pelicans. Like the mine, mine. Uh, mine, mine, mine. She looked like uh, every other bitch. Well, Z- I think Zayn though does it like an abnormal amount. I do it amount. a lot. Amount. But Mariah, uh, do, you do it a lot too, right? I get called out for it a lot. I wasn't conscious of it until s- people started calling me out. They were like, is it just me or does Mariah just repeat everything everyone says? <laughs> repeat everyone just says. I- oh my God, you just did it right there. Oh my no, I did God. it on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. my my like one of my like first girlfriends that I had like in, like seventh grade, she like would do it all the time, like repeat everything I said because she was just like trying to be like cute and flirty back, but it would drive me insane. Like I would just be like, Sorry. oh my god, that cat's so fat. She'd be like, ha ha, that cat's so fat. And I was okay, like, that's weird. But it was just she would do it all the time. And you know how like you're like awkward and young. It's like your first like little relationship, and then you realize you kind of don't like them anymore, and you start focusing on all their like annoying things. That would drive me insane. I'm like, all she does is repeat what I say. I can't stand it. I have to get out of this. I feel relationship. like I would have noticed. I mean, I, I've noticed like stuff like i just because mentioned, it, but it, because it doesn't i mean we don't do it a lot but like what i'll be watching the podcast and i see my i catch myself doing it like twice really like where you see something i'll say right do after. i do it uh, no i don't think really. so. no, no not as much as uh zane does but you get a <laughs> so lot of, you, you get, like noted you like, i noticed it because of that girlfriend i had in seventh grade <laughs> where i like i just know it's like one of my like gotcha. least favorite like i think the only time habits you I repeat know. something is if it's like a meme yeah yeah like the but like if somebody's being funny, like I'll I'll repeat what they said. Yeah. I don't know for no reason. <laughs> like it's just like a natural thing. Kind of like a tick. Yeah, like like a tick. But it's it's not even like a tick. I also but I do think like it makes you feel like I guess a related or on the same page as like another person. Like it is so funny, and you're affirming that it was funny by expressing it back through your own yeah. words. Because mm, okay. I feel like just laughing isn't enough. I want them to feel really good. (laughs) (laughs) I have a hard time laughing. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I used to laugh at, like, every... I would just be like, ha, ha, ha. And now I just feel like... Not that I don't think something's funny. I'll think it's funny. I just... I don't know. I have a hard time, like, vocalizing a laugh. I do a lot of... I I find a lot of shit funny, but I do do (laughs) do a lot of fake laughing, too. I do a lot of fake laughing. I do it for all of Heath's vlogs. I do... Right. Thank you. (laughs) Baby, a fake laugh is better than no Zane, laugh. Zane can have the best fake laugh in the world, though. Yeah, like, you no, can, I'm like, really good at fake laughing. Zane can be talking to somebody he hates, and they're like, I'll be like, "What? Are, why are they so funny to you? And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like this guy, like, <laughs> 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 I fake laugh a lot, too. But like, if I'm watching a comedian, it could be somebody that I really, really like. And I could sit there and not laugh the entire time. Right. Like if I'm I watching can, like, TV. Smile. Yeah. No, like, I'll laugh. Yeah, I'll laugh. If, if I'm, I'm watching. I'm, a... If I'm home alone watching a comedian, I, I, I don't laugh. laugh. Oh, I laugh. Like, I, la- I only laugh for Sebastian Maniscalco. That's the only one. He's that... hilarious. Yeah. I've never heard of him. Oh, my God. You'll you'll love him. He's you don't know so who he funny. is? You know who Sebastian is? Uh, maybe I know his face. Um, um, but yeah, I just don't look. I don't know why. I, I, I appreciate stuff that's oh, funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, that's what, like, me, Matt, Mariah, and Carly, is it the four of us? We have a chat where we send each other, like, funny memes and shit. Uh-oh. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I know. But, like, I would never, I would never send you something like that. I only send you cars and fights. <laughs> that's my that's two all favorites. I send them, cars and yeah. fights. Like, for some reason, Which, we love, he and I love watching World Star Hip Hop fights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, and those are my best. those are my least favorite type of videos. <laughs> What's crazy is they're like they're like forty five minutes long, and you'll just like sit there and just and then it'll <laughs> auto load the next one, and I'll just get hooked. I don't all know what night. it is. I don't know what it is. I I don't like watching like boxing matches, but I love watching those street fights. And it's because it's Did, it's so real and. Draw. There's just no talent behind it. It's just people <laughs> doing everything that they can to to try to knock somebody out. It's yeah. it's so funny. Man. Did you guys enjoy watching Battle Bots when we showed you? Oh, oh yeah, that's so, so fun. fun. That's that's my type of. I would right love there, to baby. go and watch like watch like in oh, in yeah. person watch that shit. We put on like jerseys like with like the Battle Bot. <laughs> we Imagine were... each of us on each end, just like all right, let's go. We should try That'd to build sick. a Battle Bot. <laughs> we're not smart <laughs> enough. Nah. Never mind. We could barely we, we barely do this fucking setup. We could rent one. We, I know. We. We. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, did you guys hear on our last podcast? I saw comments and then I went and watched it. No. As soon as we started talking about China and TikTok, it like went. Yes. Did you hear the static? It was crazy. I don't know if you could tell in my face, but I was trying to low key figure out what was going on. But I heard it in my headphones. What? Oh, you heard it as we we're. I thought yeah. it only. But the only thing I did to get it to stop. Um, 
There was me and Matt's phones were here, so I just slid them over, and then it went on for a while, and then it stopped. So I don't know if it was too much electronics or yeah. something, but it was weird that that was at the same time. It's it's. I think they're listening all the time. Mm-hmm. Did I? I th- hey, we got fans in China. <laughs> <laughs> My Alexa started taking pictures of me in the kitchen. What? No way. Dead ass. I was literally in the kitchen. I was on a phone call. <laughs> just butt naked, you cooking an egg. Just- <laughs> I was I was on a phone call, and I was looking out like the window to the backyard and I was sitting there and then I turned around real quick and it was taking a picture of me. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Like the sound went off, right? Yeah. And like I walked over and there was a picture of me and I was like trying to get the picture. I was like, take a picture. And like, it it didn't like, wouldn't open up the picture. And I was like, so it just took pictures, but it wasn't storing them. Anywhere. I didn't even know the thing could take a picture or have like a camera roll of pictures. So do you think it's someone on the other end taking these? Pictures? I don't like, know. We, we still have weird. the picture. The picture's on there. I can put it up. It is really Crazy. weird. Was it like it's an, just like an, the back of him? It's the back of Heath. Was it like an That's Amazon so stylist or whatever being like, "Nice outfit today, but maybe you could use this." Looks good. Try this out. <laughs> yeah. No, it was just a ri- like I would never say Alexa take my picture. Like there's no yeah. way that. It remotely hurt anything close to that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's scary. Scary. Um. Oh, (laughs) guys. By the way, I I I had a really weird day the other day. It was just like an off day. Off day. The end of the night at David's, I tried to pretend uh, David was running over my foot. Oh, so, I, nice. so I like I took off my shoe just to, and threw it under his wheel, and I missed it. So I went down to grab my shoe. <laughs> I grabbed my shoe and went back up, and he, David was still backing up like fast. And his side view mirror hit the shit out of my fucking head. Like, clipped Dude, the top of he my like, head. He was going fast, Dude, backwards. Fast. But it was just so funny that Zane was trying to joke around and act like he got his foot <laughs> run over. <laughs> Uh-huh. Literally does that, bends over to pick his shoe back up and just gets slammed in the I head. I hope, I hope that because David has a webcam outside of, outside of his house that caught that, but we don't know if it like still, if like it we recorded We need to check it. the memory and see if it's yeah. still on it. Because it look, you know, it looks so funny. It Either way, looks... your blood is still on the... You want to know yeah. what's really funny? You were like, oh, it hurts. <laughs> and you were like, check it out. Can you see if it's bleeding? And I jokingly was like, oh my God, yeah, he leaking. Just yeah. to like, because I didn't think it was going to be bleeding. Yeah. I was just trying to get you like worked up the thinking way- you were bleeding. But then I looked and then I see blood dripping. I was like, oh my God, he really leaking. Yeah. Like the way the way it felt, it almost felt like a basketball hit me. It didn't hurt that bad, but he was backing up really quick. It was just like a shock. It was like just at the head. corner. It was like the edge of the mirror. Yeah. Like it was at a point. And that skin is so thin that if you just get like just nicked right, right at the head. top of as, it. As soon as I saw the blood, I was like, fuck my fucking hair plugs. Yeah. <laughs> like it, because it clipped right on where I got it. And in my head, it was like, I just ruined the entire fucking thing. Like, you, I'm, I'm done. It was funny because we had, like, already, we got home from, I don't know where we were at that night. But you and me were, like, getting kind of mad at each <laughs> other in the car. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. We were, I, but we're all good. We're all good. It was just a I, little. For so, like, I actually went home that night and went to sleep. And in my head, I was like, was that karma? I don't like, exa- exactly because we get home like I go into David's house and I'm sitting there I'm a little steamed from yeah, like me and Zane yelling at each other and I'm sitting there and I'm like where is everybody why is nobody coming in and I go outside <laughs> and blood is coming oh my. it's just coming down Zane's face and I was like you smiled you said Matt's low key like well like first I was just annoyed I'm like are you serious so we're gonna have to go to the hospital right now <laughs> I'm gonna have to be taking care of Zane with this little stitches and head like oh, all so of- nasty I hurt myself. I know I did care, but I didn't. It was sad because I didn't care as much as I should have. I literally, That's when really it was funny. happening, I was just like, I went quiet and I went and sat down. On the couch. I felt bad. I apologize to Matt the No, it's so okay. Yeah, you did apologize, but it's oh, it's okay. I I apologize for. I wish we could talk about what we were fighting about. I know. Oh. It was so dumb. Me and Mariah were in the back. We were just like. <laughs> oh, oh no no I don't want to talk about that no that situation was dumb I'm talking about just the whole thing is just like whole fucking thing. crazy it's just not also yeah. like usually yes you're reckless when we go out but you were actually the DD and you weren't <laughs> yeah joking. I was like fucking and, so like, it was the end of the night we were all just gonna go into David's and then grab our stuff and leave we were ready to go home and you were just literally joking the joke was over you went to clean up your joke <laughs> you went to pick up <laughs> you- <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy okay I caught it I caught it I'm noticing now <laughs> he was gonna repeat what <laughs> Ophelia check. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's you know what's crazy is that 
The last time I did that, I was um, the last time I hurt myself in the head. I was kidding. I was pretending that Stas pushed me off the bed, but I ended up actually falling and yes. hitting my fucking head. I was pretending David ran me over, and, and then, then you got ran over. I got ran over. <laughs> you just you gotta stop making the jokes. I just yeah. gotta stop leaving my house. I think <laughs> you're I just fragile need to stay like home. glass, man. You yeah, <laughs> but everyone like if that happened to anybody else, everyone would be like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" But it was just so normal. To, we just got so on brand. We gotta keep Zane in a helmet. Yeah, <laughs> at all times. You know the SpongeBob helmet, the one. That looks <laughs> that's what I need at all times. Are you gonna get a checkup? Um, I actually did call my hair doctor. My I just called my hair doctor about it, and she said just to send pictures it should be fine. But uh, if you want come, if you want if you want to feel better, just come in and we'll check it out. But I think it's fine. I think it's just like a normal cut, but it's on my head. But yeah, you're good. It should be fine. If I anything, put peroxide you lost, on like, it. Three hairs. You're good. <laughs> Ain't no thing. Imagine it like fucks up my hair. It like split, does this weird split where it just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it puts like a wicked cow lick yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, that's really yeah. Funny. No, I really, I really do need to like watch myself though. It's crazy. I like, I hurt myself so fucking much. Like, I feel like I'm gonna die one day. You're like, just that's how you're I'm gonna reckless. Die. You're just reckless. <laughs> but like moments like that, I just feel like it's not re- like, reckless. I'm just an idiot. Like that was me. Like when I got hit, Fair that enough. was so stupid. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Like I would have never put my si- like self in a situation where I was like, "He's gonna run over my foot, <laughs> look, David," and you're, he's like fully backing up, like, and you're behind the car, like. If anybody else was driving, that wouldn't have happened. But David's just—he doesn't care too. He's like, like we, if you're gonna stand there, you're gonna get hit. Gonna you better move. Hit, yeah. Like it's like, on you. I really. Inserts I really... video of Heath crawling on top of David's car. <laughs> Drive down sunset. Yeah, right. You Drive down sunset. Just when go. you fucking drink, you're you're worse than me. You're I'm an reckless. invincible yeah. when you're like, drunk. Like Zane's reckless. Sober and drunk, and then when you're drunk, you're the same way. But sober, <laughs> you're very, you're very like level-headed. That's it's, why. That's why I can't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally turn into like the Hulk, <laughs> a stuntman. Yeah, it's bad. But you never get hurt though. I'm always the one getting hurt. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I you've think, ever been hurt. I think like, I'm just a little bit more agile, <laughs> so yeah. that kind of helps me. <laughs> but it's good. I'm getting like I feel like my body's getting immune to these. You know, it's like fucking battle battle scars. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Exactly. <laughs> oh. I have so many so many cuts on my fucking head though. If I were to if I was bald, it would just be cuts <laughs> everywhere, just scars all over the place. Oh my gosh, yeah, man. Can we talk about you with uh, your rash decisions? My rash is oh yeah. <laughs> so I decided so. Matt, Todd, and I, we're trying to find a place to rent because our lease is up, but like there's nothing around in our it's area. It's crazy there's, because there's so much to rent, but nothing is like good. Good. It's You're spending so much money and you get nothing in return. It's terrible. It's fucking crazy. And it's only in LA. You look anywhere else in the world, go on Zillow and just go anywhere else but LA and you get mansions for what we're spending. But we get like, it's, I mean, that's and I'm just, not talking about Heat's House. Heat's House is like really LA. nice. I'm talking about like what we've been seeing on Zillow. Like yeah. it's just, it'll be like $8,000 a month and it's like you get literally a shoebox. It's, mm-hmm. it's bad. Bad. And bottom line is we're all trying to move into the same area just for work. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we want to be yeah. close. And like, but, <clears throat> and we're not being picky. It's just like, it's, you don't want to spend this much money on a two bedroom, one bath. Like it's just like not, yeah. it's not worth it. Like that's why I moved out here because I was like, I, it's just so much. Yeah. And it, 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 it's not even LA. It's, where we live because if you go to like granada hills you go anywhere with the you're price fine. the price you're paying yeah. for you get like you get a lot yeah you're getting what you're paying for anywhere it's like it's it's fucking nuts so 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 zane got really frustrated <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find i can't we can't find a rental we can't find good rentals that we like so i decided oh, oh i want to buy a house i made this decision yesterday yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we're sitting on the couch he's like i can't find a house I'm going to buy a house <laughs> and i was like what he's like i can't find a rental so i'm just gonna buy one i literally i saw i um uh, I got showed a house. What was it today? Today. Today. And I think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> He's literally, After one day, I made a decision to buy a house a day and a half ago. You were inside the house looking at it, getting the tour, and you call us and you're like, I'm going to get it. <laughs> I want it. I get it. I think I'm going to buy it's it. A great, I think I'm gonna get it's it. It's a really month. great house, though. It's but I remember beautiful. waking up and I could hear Zane like in the other room on the phone being like, I'm going to buy this house. I'm going to buy it today. And I'm like, well, it looks like Zane's buying the house. Yeah, because I, like, I want to have the mindset of like, if you want it, just go get it. Don't think twice about it. I get it and regret it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. I, I don't know. Like That's how I, when, I, when I got my car, I was like, I didn't want to think twice. I was like, I'm just going to fucking get it because I want it. You know, <laughs> so and that's yep. what I'm, and that's what I'm gonna <laughs> do with this. Keep we living know, by that. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like I bought the house last time. I sold it and I made money on it. You know, like I I made the right decision in the end, and I got to live there for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Why are you giving me that face? No, it's true. I think it's I made true. a really good decision. Like yeah. it, like it would, maybe it wasn't the best at the time, but like it ended up being a good decision. Yeah, it worked yeah. out. Right. Yeah. So baby, buy it tonight. What the fuck? But, Wrap this up. No, Let's go buy a house. No, no. He, you're talking about me. Heath wants is already looking at his fifth car. <laughs> Oh, oh, so it's me under the bus now. <laughs> it's both of y'all. Both of y'all just get so excited right before they're about to spend money on oh something or just buying I something don't, new. I really don't, no. I don't spend that much money. You, you look at me right now. The oh, but it's time. the personality highs on how right. good good of a mood you guys get in. I'm always like, dang, they're in a good mood. And I'm like, oh, because they're about to buy, they're about to <laughs> buy something new. It's always this next thing. It's, it's like, traveling too. And Heath and I are like, you know what? Let's travel. Oh, my God. Get- we were at dinner the other night. Matt was just like, what's going to make me happy? <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah. do it. Like, what's your next fix? Just oh, come on. It's a fix. It's a fix. It it, my, fix. my parents used to call it flavor of the month. So <laughs> yeah. that, that exactly. would be some. I would just, I was into paintball guns. I would just sit on and I'd be at the computer for hours. Look, I could tell you everything about the paintball gun. And she'd be like, you're not going to get it. What? Stop looking. <laughs> I, I just like window shopping. Yeah, that's I really fun. Like that's fun. Window I window shopping. shop, but I literally don't go into the store. I literally am looking at what's in there and that. Like I have self-control. You, you're you learning to have control, but you both have really bad self-control. Yes. I do the complete opposite. I don't even window, I don't even go to the store. I just buy it. He before, buys it online. Before I see it. No, but like, the, like a couple months ago, Heath rode his manager's dirt bike in a parking lot. And then Christmas, we both get dirt bikes. <laughs> and then he goes snowboarding once. I'm, I got to buy a snowboard. I need a snowboard. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let me explain. Snowboarding. I said... I went once, I really enjoyed it, and I rented. And it was like $150 to do the whole rental gear. Uh-huh. And we went again, and I was like, I, I enjoyed it even more. And I was like, this is something I'm going to be doing more often. It's not going to be my only time. So I, I was say. like, instead of me renting a third, a fourth time, I might as well spend $700 on the gear. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But Everyone's is, just rolling their eyes. I bought, I bought a snowboard, I bought the boots, I bought the pants, I bought the jacket. And now I can go whenever I want and I don't have to rent and no, keep paying No, I get that. it, but it's just it. so funny that it's like so quick to be like, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, like the iPad. Oh, the, the iPad. iPad. Yeah, that was you. That was you. <laughs> Y'all bought he, an he iPad. He copied me. Yeah. I, bought, I immediately bought it after and I don't, I'm returning because I don't use it. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, he, well, I haven't used it once so I'm returning I use it. mine every single day. Yeah, Heath uses you it do? more than his every, laptop. Every day. What do you use it for? I edit all my pictures on it. I oh. drag and drop footage, send files. You can literally get rid of your laptop and you'd be fine. Oh, yeah. really? I don't use my Oh, I love my laptop. I use my laptop every day. Yeah. I, I should be, hasn't been I should that be iPad, though. I should be <laughs> editing. <laughs> he goes to return it. He's just like, what's <laughs> 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 the back in the box? <laughs> but, no, no but I'm, I really, just, I'm really bad. I'm so indecisive. I'm the most indecisive person in the entire and world. Indecisive impulsive, though. Yeah. Impulse, yeah. Like, but I'm sometimes indecisive. Well, if there's something I really want to buy, I usually wait two weeks to see if two weeks later <laughs> nope. if I still want to buy it. Nope. And then if I still want it, then I buy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then after you keep thinking about something for a while, you realize you don't want it as much as you did a week ago. Mm-hmm. But if you yeah. still have it strong, that's when you should buy it. So you're it. saying if I've been wanting this car for the last three years, <laughs> I should probably do it. No. Because I don't think you have enough space for another car. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm oh, not going to get it. I just, I just really enjoy cars. That's all. You have two of the best cars I know, ever. I know, I know. And I'm very grateful for them. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Yeah, I, right. No, no, no. Can I just explain for a second? Okay. Because I need to... Y'all, y'all don't believe me. <laughs> I do. I love you. I have, I have a truck. I love you too, Bubba. I have a <laughs> truck that is gigantic, and it's a monster truck, and I live in LA, and there's no parking, and it's huge, and I don't fit into a lot of garages because it's too tall. Why so didn't you then, think of that before you bought the I car? I didn't know it, it was, was impulsive. Be- <laughs> no, you no, you you knew you knew it was gonna be big because you had problems with big red. You, yeah. So you got a bigger truck? I, I needed a truck. I like having a truck. I I couldn't have done my house if I didn't have a truck. That's true. And then everybody else wants to borrow it when they need a truck. So you know, <laughs> I remember that. I mean that you are like that that is like it's your nice responsibility to have a truck. though. It's right. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have a truck. So I also have the Lamborghini, which is equally <laughs> As impractical, I love the thing. It's my favorite thing, <laughs> but it's hard going up steep driveways, and you don't want to slam miles on it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> Is Heath whining about having a Lamborghini? No, I'm not whining. I'm not whining at all. It, it, I love it. We need to change this podcast to Zane and Heath privilege. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying work with me here a little bit. No, no, I get it. I get it. It is I get crazy it. to think about like if he found the perfect house in Studio City and it's a steep driveway, that car's not getting up there. He can't get the house. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like yeah. that's like uh, it's insane that like a driveway is like such an important. That's like the main priority. Yeah. It's also, crazy. also the truck doesn't fit into a lot of driveways because it's big. Or garages. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. so crazy. Okay, well, Matt, uh, you said that bad baby got a tattoo. Oh, what yeah, was she didn't get about? a tattoo. I don't even know if it's that I interesting. I thought you were going to say bad baby, like, reached out. <laughs> no, bad baby, got, ba- bad baby got a tattoo. Somewhere. I just can't believe a 16-year-old gets tattoos. Like, you can do that. I can't yeah, believe it- parents are signing off on this. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, weird. Because you, you can't legally get one until you're 18. Right. Yeah. So if, if your parents say, yes, you can, then... Uh-huh. But I guess like ear piercing, like you can get your ears pierced when you're a kid as long as your parents I say yes to it, right? I just don't think tattoos are a big deal. I just, I just, just remind the kid, hey, this is a f- permanent. Like, I make know, sure you I, really I know want this. this. Is if I got a tattoo that I wanted when I was 16, I regret mine and I got them a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and what tattoo is that? All of them. <laughs> yeah, all mine are really bad too. How many tattoos do you have? I have a fucking <laughs> slug on my wrist. That one's... <laughs> <laughs> that one's cute though. That one's cute. I like that one. That yeah, I cute. like that one too. I like it too. But the placement, I you know, I cried the next day after I got this. I bought. I I sat well, up in bed. I looked down and I bawled my eyes. No, out. No, you didn't. Yes, I. But did. But you didn't bawl your eyes out after fucking Luis. It, it's because those are covered, dude. I looked down and I saw this. I was like, I didn't want it on my wrist. And Scott was like, Do it on your wrist, man. It's cool. You can cover it with a watch. And I was like, All right. So Scott's responsible for your hand tattoo. Every- oh yeah, and this one. God, this one irks that, me. No, that, no that's the worst one out of all of them. I can't believe you guys I ha- got I that. Have, okay, so on that my, was recently, too. For those of you listening, I have a slug, and underneath the slug, it says God Loves Ugly. It's for uh, an MC named Slug. He is the rapper in Atmosphere. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm, just, I'm explaining why I got it. <laughs> I like that one. That one's cute, though. God the, Loves the Ugly deal one my is my favorite so song. Fun. Stupid. And then I have Dude. deal on my thumb, so when you shake my hand and we make a deal, it says deal. No. <laughs> Every time Scott goes out, he wa- he gets a, he gets a tattoo, or he wants to get a tattoo. It's it's being dr- dude. Alcohol's the worst fucking thing in the world. <laughs> I like alcohol. I almost That's got a tattoo fun. one time when I was drunk, and I had signed the papers, and I was walking over to the booth, and then I was like, nope. nope. I'm You've not, never had a tattoo. No, I've never had a what tattoo. What was the tattoo supposed to be? Uh, the word cool. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of it. It was like the word cool. And I thought we were going to get it like on our foot. It was, re- And then I started complaining about the font because it was like all lowercase, but I wanted it to be all uppercase. So they were like, no, it lowercase looks better. I'm like, it looks like coal or it looks like... <laughs> You, Cod, you, sh- you don't like Koi. you don't look like you like need tattoos though. You shouldn't get any tattoos. What are you trying to say, Zane? I, I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> tattoos don't fit you. Yeah, I think you're, imagine like, him clean. with like a neck ta- like like roses. That'd on be his- crazy. Yeah, I can't see you. It's <laughs> roses on yeah, my saying, neck. Like, yeah, the, you know, like people who wear like. I think it's the way you dress. You dress really just white. So I feel like tattoos. Which, what, <laughs> is, what is white dress? Just like? proper, like just I don't know. It's just you, you dress like you're in a frat. You dress like every other. What's it? <laughs> you just, every, every, other, every other. There we go again. Ecophilia. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bear with us. <laughs> he keeps pronouncing <laughs> it. It gets worse and you worse every time. You can repeat everything except the word. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she went like every other beat. It's just That's, something about repeating it. Half of good. the shit that we say all comes from TikTok. That app is uh, fucking poison. Toxic. So toxic. What's worse, alcohol or TikTok? I don't know. Because <laughs> alcohol, like, you can, like, make sure it's that time of day where you know that you're drinking. TikTok can suck you away from your day oh, of, like, yeah. getting productive. True, you know what I mean? Like, I was in bed answer. until 3 p.m. watching TikTok. Also, yeah, yesterday. TikToks keep you up later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you think that's why it's called TikTok? TikTok, TikTok. Oh, You've been on that sucks up your Do you ever watch TikTok and you just get, like, just really, like, ugh, okay, I'm yeah. sick of it. Yes. Like, fatigued, yeah. Fatigued by it. It hits you like a wall. Like, it's, like, done. Like, nothing can make me laugh. Like, very rarely, but, or I don't know, it's just, like... Because you've been, I've been looking at it for too long, you know. Didn't didn't somebody? I think Matt might have said it, but it knows the video that you're looking for, but it won't let you get there for a while. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it knows like what type of video would make you laugh, or you would you'd be looking for because uh-huh. it's geared towards you. Your and your likes too. Like whatever yeah, you're so like it, it'll make you keep scrolling, and it'll kind of tease you with like little videos that you like. And then it makes you wait for that one. Yeah. To keep yeah. you on longer. And then if you really like one sound like a few times, then it will you, keep giving just... you those sound. But sometimes like Zane won't know s- certain TikTok sounds that I know. This sounds so weird. Yeah. But like I'm like, have you seen that one? Do you know what, what I'm talking about? He's like, no, I don't. And I'm like, weird. Like, I don't know. 
is we do get completely that's different. the same with like instagram i think everybody on instagram sees my explore page i'm like how do you guys not see all these cars you know <laughs> like i'm like you guys are seeing this right i want to talk about <laughs> my hygiene i think it's so funny like i go to matt with so many questions about my hygiene so ev- like i never i just never know what vitamins to take i never know what um <laughs> what like i don't use all i know how to clean myself is just showering and uh, soap and water. That's it. That's how I clean myself. But like, you have to moisturize. You have to fucking use. Like, oh, yeah. do you get what I mean? Like, it's <sighs> no, 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 no. It makes sense. You're explaining it perfectly. But it's funny because we go into like Walgreens the other day, me and Todd, because we needed to buy like uh, body wash and stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> they just know what to get, and I'm just like, hey guys, like what? Baby, baby, that's because they go grocery shopping and they go to the stores <laughs> and they do this shit. So he's like, oh. the type to have the five in one. Like yeah, hundred percent. Just have everything in <laughs> one bottle. Shit, my or or face yeah. wash, they body scrub, his mouthwash, and then he like takes like a rinse of it, and he's just like you can hear him just gargling <laughs> like so loud throughout the house because he's just having mouthwash for the first time in months. And then he comes down, <laughs> and sees Mike and I, and goes, guys, smell my breath. Smell this, and I'm like Zane. No. You're like Zane is like a kid who like brushes his teeth and is like, Mom, I brushed my teeth and you didn't tell me to. I did. Look <laughs> ah, like at me, Mom. You're that's saying so this completely true. wrong. Oh yeah, no, I use Listerine every day. So I use Listerine. Yes, that's my does. mouthwash. So uh, I got a new one where it's like it's for like really bad breath. I don't have really bad breath, but like I figured, why not get the one that's for really bad breath? That means it's probably stronger. So uh-huh. I got it. No, Natalie, that makes sense. Natalie, I've used it for the first time in Nally's bathroom. So Natalie, I think Nally has bad breath because she uses the same mouthwash right. too. And that's the tea. And then, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, so I, you, there's a special way you gotta do. So you gotta like wash in your mouth for a minute and then gargle it for 30 seconds uh-huh. for it to fully work or something like that. So I did that. And I got really excited. I was like, guys, <laughs> come downstairs. Oh, like I use mouthwash every day. I just I got That's excited funny. using this new one. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. No, it's it cute. was it's really cute. funny. It's I did cute. come down like a kid, like my guys. I he's like breath. smell my breath. I'm like Zane, you're just so excited that you bought mouthwash, but he's just like, look at me being clean. I need to tell <laughs> yeah, I know all of you that I did it. <laughs> like it's just like Matt has like eighteen thousand like like different supplements and vitamins. Like I just I never know what to take. You know, I, like, okay, okay. We don't take we don't take anything. I you don't take so, anything. Sometimes like taking all these vitamins and all these pills and shit. I don't really know about all that. Like yeah, I Zane, feel like you're fine. I, I feel like I if you're oh, I thought I was the only if one you're that eating right, if you're eating right, you're drinking water, you're not, you know, doing bad shit. I yeah. feel like you're fine. Unless you have like a, a, a malnutri- like if your like body's low on iron or something. I always gotta take, take like, like a like men's daily vitamin. <laughs> My body's I, low in everything. Yeah. I, I, I take a I take a one a day. Yeah, but no, that's what like yeah. But then I take like Alpha Brain and like uh, Shroom. <laughs> oh tech. my god, we need to start no, taking it's that. Literally, you no, know, he takes literally like smart pills. It's like smart pills. Like, it's do you have? Oh, so he's brain. cheating. Do you have he's like, a cheater? It's just nootropics. Like they really don't like make do like, that right. Case, it's just like, nootropics. Yeah, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> like an old oh, granny case. Yeah. Like he's yeah. actually he's fucking stupid. We take away his pills and he's just. What is too much? Oh, some there's something about like Lizzo. Every people are bullying Lizzo, and like really? on Twitter. So um, Lizzo like Lizzo uh, was like, "All right, guys, I gotta get off Twitter." Blah blah. blah. You guys like, I've had enough. And then, but it was like a news station talking about this, and they put like one of the tweets up on TV. What was the tweet? It was like Plan B: Drop Lizzo to Iran. Oh and it was just shit. it was awful but like but when they put it up on the screen it was like why would you why, put yeah. that up that's not even funny though Wait, and, uh, i like her what's wrong yeah i don't know i don't know wh- wh- i don't know why people are hating her oh like, i love people, her people but are they're making nasty. fun of her they're making fun of her size which is weird to so me stupid. i thought there was like i thought so people stupid. were so against like people body shaming but for some reason people are just really attacking her for her weight i, I don't i don't she's been around it. for how long what like i really her music her music's good she's too insane. Yeah. oh my gosh she's, I love she's had a hell of a year i mean yeah she's, oh yeah she's killing it that's probably well, the last she's year. getting a lot of shit because she's doing so well like really quick oh, i feel like when yeah, people yeah, blow yeah. up people love to shit on people that like blow mm-hmm. up quick so. mm-hmm. unless you're billy eilish billy eilish billy eilish yeah she's the best Anybody that like doesn't like her, you, you just you're canceled. That's it. You know no. why she dresses like that though, right? Yeah, to um So to that cover. people don't judge her for the way no one knows what her body actually looks like. Like yeah. so people don't judge her for what she which is great. That's cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Do you want to hear a crazy story? <laughs> yeah. This is like random off topic, but Ooh, yeah, I've been wanting to share let's hear it. this story is this the on this story? podcast. Yes. We like we never <laughs> get around oh, what? to it. Why why what? when I got my uh It's been on the list for like four weeks. <laughs> Um, this happened to me in high school with my Spanish teacher. Uh, oh, oh you, uh, him getting fired or some shit? Or, well, yeah, yeah. I got my Spanish teacher fired. Have oh, I told purpose? you? Thumbnail face. Uh, 
<laughs> um, no, not on purpose, but okay. So when I was a, I think I was a freshman or a sophomore in high school, I was taking Spanish too. And we had this teacher, she was sweet. She was nice, but actually she was very disorganized. She never had really had her shit together. And one day while well, I was asking her a question and she was talking to me over, um, you know, my desk, like, uh, helping me with something, I could smell alcohol on her breath. Like I was like, damn. And it was like, this is like seven 30 in the morning. And I, wow, in the first period bad. of the day, <laughs> me as a teacher. and she, and I, could smell. Like, I mean, whatever she needs to do to get through it, <laughs> and we shouldn't be judging her. Or he could, could have probably been hung over too. I feel like your breath. Well, was bad so, and then I would also kind of notice that she had this water bottle that she would like put like behind her computer monitor Ooh. like it was it was weirdly placed like normally if you just had a water bottle out you'd have it right on the desk mm -hmm. but she would have it like kind of tucked away on Hidden. like her far side of the desk and um i start telling like my close friends in the class like do you ever smell her breath like it's like oh, oh, like there's like she's like drinking wine or something and then someone points out the water bottle they go you know what that water bottle always looks really suspicious so is it like a clear water bottle? No, it was like a like a purple just sports. Like a hydro oh, flask. God, I got it. Like all, yeah. She just drank a sangria. Yeah. <laughs> so this is I can't believe this. And I guess I've always wanted to say it because I just find it an interesting story. But um we decided I decided to distract her. And, and you or, sipped it? Well, no. no way. I didn't go up and sip alcohol Mad. in school. No. But we I distracted her and act, act like I had another question. And then my two friends went up to her desk, opened up the water bottle, took a sniff, <gasps> and it was like straight up wine cooler. No and way. My, I'm surprised you guys like did that. Like I've been told so fucking scared. Ballsy. And I'll, I'll yeah. never forget because I was like sitting there like you know, she's like over my desk um, like talking yeah, and then I and so, I'm like keep, I keep uh could you come here? Uh I don't know what Why did you this... leave her alone? You you were the Karen of that class. Because she's my educator and it was drinking <laughs> during I mean, class. I mean, did you guys learn in the class? Well, so here's so here's another thing. <laughs> I'm like, she, I'm like our, she was her. she was a very she said, she said, fuck the test, people. <laughs> Y'all have fun. <laughs> she was a very disorganized teacher. Um, she would reteach the same lesson plan. She never really knew what she was doing because she was just buzzed the whole class, <laughs> Did, not really focusing on it. All of our grades were like B's and C's. No one in the class was doing very Must well. Be nice. <laughs> oh my god! And so, and you know, it's it's high school. We want to have good grades to get into school, and we have a, just a drunk for a teacher, and a drunk. And I don't know. Maybe she wasn't drunk. She was probably buzzed. Point I is, she's it. drinking. It's school. So dramatic. She did. She was a little tipsy. I used to sneak smart off ice <laughs> to, the, to my middle school. So when did you snitch? So you're a fucking rat. We realized. You rat. I know, this is so rat. Terrible. <laughs> and then up. me and my friends, we went to the assistant principal office, and we were like shaking because we couldn't believe like <laughs> the hunch we had that she was drinking was actually true. And we went and told the assistant principal, we were like, we think Miss So and So is drinking during class. Ooh. And they were like, they were like, really? And we were like, yes. And then they go, well, they like write everything down. We wrote it all down. Oh, and then at the shit. end of the day, we went, we walked by her classroom and there was like a box of tissues and the assistant principals were like talking to her. And she was like there at like her desk, like Damn. And she, she got fired. And she done. never came back. Wow, that's that's sad though. Cause that I just mean, made me think about it. Made me cry a little bit. That's, that's actually know. sad. Like, I mean, I, she probably was going through some shit. I mean, obviously, people start drinking for a reason, and maybe something was happening, and that like that was her way of coping. Oh, for sure, yeah. And you like took her job and her livelihood away. Yeah, just like just nasty, man. So, am I a bad person? <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. But I she mean, was drink. It well, I, I guess think like, you should, we do you think I should have told her like? Okay, stop the drinking and give me a hundred, or I'm gonna tell. <laughs> there you go, blackmail, man. I would, I would, that would have been. Yeah, he, you must not have been taking your smart pills because if you were back then, that's exactly what you would have done. <laughs> yeah, I, but I didn't get. I guess I don't want to seem like I'm like a snitch, or I because I am not. I'm. I, no, 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 I'm, I I'm, I'm just I'm playing on... devil's advocate. I'm just saying, like, no, I guess you, so because she I... should not have been drinking. Yeah, no, I know, absolutely, absolutely not. not. And, I, and I did like the right thing to do, which is to How report old were you? that. Uh, during the time, oh, I yeah. couldn't even. 15? 14? You were 15? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought you were old. 15? That's crazy. 15 years old. Yeah. I'd have been so fucking scared to go up to a water bottle <laughs> well, I'd like to see. And I think just because we didn't like her as a teacher because she wasn't a good teacher and everyone was like struggling in the class. We like never liked it because we were hardly learning Spanish and Damn. she was dr drunk and our grades were low and we just had had it with her and we realized okay, she was drinking. Okay, now you're good to go. I don't know, sorry. That's pretty good. No, that is no, fucking that is crazy. Wild. Yeah. I didn't remember, think it would be like that. Remember us uh, f f getting that girl fired from New Year's Eve in Chicago? We, what? Rem re you don't remember that? Remember, um, we went to Chicago Wait, for New Year's Eve. And this is when you were like drunk at a party or 
or something, right? And you got into a fight with like the bartender. So Natalie, Natalie and David like rented out a room in um, Chicago for yes. New Year's Eve, and it was just our friends. It was just us, you know. Like, and I remember ordering a drink, or no, I ordered a drink. I gave her my card, and I never got it back. So yeah. when I went to close out, she's like, "Oh, your card's not here." I was like, "Oh no, you have my card. Like you took it." And she's uh -huh. like. I don't have your card. I'm like, ma'am, you definitely have my card. Like, right. And she's like, sir, don't. Like, and she and she just got real sassy with me, and she she ignored me. She but ignored what, me. I'm like, what would what would her her reasoning for stealing your card or not? Just wait, just, just wait oh, okay, one okay, second. Okay, okay. So sorry, I'm, ahead of, I'm excited. I'm, I'm so, into it. So I I'm starting to get really pissed. I'm like, ma'am, wh why are you ignoring me? You you have my card somewhere. Can I please like I I'm flying the next day. Like I really need that's yeah. not my only card. And she was and she and she then she got security on me. <gasps> To what? kick me out of that room. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, I just want my card back. Yeah. She's like, you're not getting your card, you stupid little bitch. Like, she, <gasps> it was crazy. Oh. As the security was taking me away and they weren't looking that oh, way, I yeah. was. I and they dragged me out. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that, this is when I got really fucking Ooh. angry because this girl was just getting her way and she knew that she lost my card. So oh. I remember, I remember and so when that happened, I literally just got out of the security. And that, and then what happened? I feel like Todd came then out of nowhere and started like tackling security. It got, it was crazy because it was just us. It was just us at this. Like we yeah. rented out the room. There would be. There's no reason for any fights to happen. But it was all caused by this fucking girl. And so, I remember then. Um, I remember so got, later got, that night. We got kicked out. We got kicked out. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got kicked out. You know that happened. They ended up finding my card under her station. So she dropped my card and uh... it went under her station. I told the the owner of the hotel or the manager of the hotel, and he immediately like it's it's almost like she's done this before. And gotcha. she immediately fired her. So I wonder if it was like she she lost it, knew she fucked up, and then like was just being an ass, or if like she was like your card's not here, and like she got annoyed. She I think she got annoyed because she thinks she thought that I lost it. Not she her. thought you were drunk and being annoying. Yeah. So she was like, I don't have it. Yeah, but I just think it's crazy. Like she was working there. She's like, you're not getting your card, you stupid little bitch. Like like, like nanny nanny boo boo. Like yes. just like it, it, like it just had like no um had nothing to lose. Had nothing to lose. Ugh. It was a new year too, like job, she, literally day one, day one, 2018. She lost her job, like starting off the year Damn. right. Oh my, so gosh. crazy. I remember that. I remember the next day in the morning, I was in an elevator and two guys working there were talking about the, the um, talking about the fight. Really? Oh really? Yeah, and they were talking about how she got fired, literally in the elevator. Like I was in there too, oh, and I was wow. like, oh guys, that was me that you guys oh, are talking about. And they were like, oh no <laughs> way. Oh man. Not, I mean, not that exciting of a story, but I just thought it was no, crazy like, that she had the balls to just be like. Nanny, nanny, boo, you little bitch, and I get and then fucking security fuck. dragging you out. I've never been more angry in my life in that moment. But. Do you remember the one time for St. Patrick's Day when we went to that bar? Oh, and the lady gave somebody else. Like, yeah, this guy was ordering drinks and he was just saying my name. <laughs> Racked up my bill to oh, like yeah. five hundred something dollars. But and didn't I was you, like, didn't you meet the guy too? Did he? Yeah, I, I he had said no he was idea. Who, get shots for everybody, right? Yeah, and I don't know what happened, but I went to close my card out. And she was like, it's already, somebody has your card. And I was like, what? And then Dom had already got my card. I was like, why did you give it to him? <laughs> she was like, he asked for it. I was like, you don't give my card to somebody who's not me. Oh my. <laughs> like, imagine me going up and be like, yeah, can I get my card? Yeah, what's the name? Uh, Matt King. He, did Dom do that though? Yeah, he closed my card. Why? And I was like, well, so he, basically he, he like got it. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, you give it to me. And then I looked at it and it was like hundreds of dollars. It was, that it I wasn't didn't... like, I remember it was like 450, 500 Yeah, it was like bucks. 500 bucks. You bought the whole bar tree. Oh, <laughs> and I was gosh. like, I didn't buy this. And she was like. So what they yes, do, you, you had to pay for I it? I had to pay for it. Oh my That's gosh. crazy that you still had to pay for that. I when it was her fault. I think the guy that was there was going up and saying my name and he knew that like yeah and he I'm was always flexing paranoid. the whole night too like yeah, he, he was getting every, all these girls and stuff all these girls kept walking up to him and he was like yeah yeah you want a drink you want a drink and he was like giving drinks out to all these girls and Didn't then, he, it wasn't a moment you saw that and you're like oh he's buying everybody drinks I was like wow that was really nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> little did I know it was my motherfucking car <laughs> did you say you yeah. thought it was like some like uh, it was you thought it was like an athlete or something no, he was. I think yeah he, he was a, a NFL like, oh, you! Oh, he was like verified and everything. On no, well, we we heard him introduce himself to a girl, so we researched, and he was an NFL player. Yeah, he was. Uh, oh, we'll remember. call his ass out. Say his name, baby. He, he played for the uh, Carolina Panthers. Right. Is his name Heath? <laughs> Could you imagine? No, I don't. I don't remember his name. Uh, I caught somebody doing that at uh, the bar that we go to all the time. 
People saying it under just your say, name? Just say it under my name because they know because they know that I'm drinking there, right. obviously. So they just go and just say my name. It's 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 so fucking shitty. That's crazy. I'm surprised it's, that people get away with that though. <clears throat> yeah. That you can just go up and say a name and that's it. That like, is a that's a flawed type of yeah. uh, system to run like that. Mm-hmm. Someone did that uh, to me at your birthday party. Oh no, I spent like three hundred, four hundred dollars at your birthday. Really? Yes. So people were just under under your... Somebody, yeah, was saying it. Oh, it was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that was Zane walking up, being like, "Matt, oh Matt, yeah. it's under Matt. <laughs> it's my birthday. I'm not buying any." I remember drinks after Zane's birthday, he walked up. He was like, "My bill's fifteen bucks." I was like, "Oh How? yeah." <laughs> I remember that. I was and like, I was the drunkest there. All night. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how it's so cheap. That's funny. Yo, I got shitty that night. That was a bad night for me. <laughs> that was a scary night. Mariah, <laughs> there's somewhere on the internet that says that you have nine kids. What? <laughs> what? Like on mylife.com, which I think is like. She, um, she kinda... really doesn't. She's like, what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, someone sent it in and it says, yeah, this is you, Mariah Amato. Um, August 27th, uh, right. you're from Pennsylvania, and right. it says, as of this date, Mariah is in a relationship and has nine kids. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are those, well, are those are your, You got are those something to tell me? Are those your siblings? Yeah, that's my whole family. They probably yeah. think your siblings well, are your kids. They never mentioned my dad. <laughs> Wait, 25 it's years old and nine kids. Everything is accurate except for that one sentence. And your net worth? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? What yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it's like five million. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mama. <laughs> I'll take. I'm sure. Uh, no, yeah, I thought that was really funny that you have nine, nine kids. kids. I love people reacting to their net worth because they're like, "Bitch, where? <laughs> yeah, show what? me that." My net worth was always low until I bought a house, and then it was like they. Oh wow. Because they just take your house and then they assume. <laughs> I don't know why mine on the internet's very high. What is What's yours? What's yours? It's like two point. Three five million. Oh, oh, that's a not. Th- which is funny because it's like it's it's it's, like it's just that. it's it's close, but it's not that. No. <laughs> You're an ass. She said, They're a little shy. They're a bitch uh, wear. Give, give her take a couple hundred, but. Uh, <laughs> Guys, can we talk about? Can we talk about um. The the kid that was um, lying about being an actor, oh. he like just changed oh, yeah. his identity Did you see halfway. That? Yeah, I heard about it. What was that? I don't know. Okay, so What's- it's it's like Troy Becker and uh, Paul Zimmer, and so Troy Becker or Paul Zimmer, it was like kind of he's like 24, 25, and then he's like started this whole new identity for himself well, called he, like, Troy Becker, it- but he's acting it like he's acting like. They're not the same person. Right. He like posted a picture. I was like, oh my God, this looks like it could be like my younger brother or something, right? But it was just like him. a younger version of me. Yes. But it was him like clean shaven and like looked a little bit different. Exactly. So he like went like silent and now he's making this Troy Becker kid take over his Instagram just because right. they look alike. But it's still Paul Zimmer, but this actress made, Troy Becker. made a post like, uh, guys, I, I just don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to give my account to the other person. They look like me and I just want them to like take over. What? And then the person, the other person posted on it like, guys, this is so weird. I can't believe like this is my first post on his account. What's the point in doing that though? So yeah, it's like fans, they said fans did not find this so funny. Not only did it seem that Zimmer was trying to rebrand himself as an actor by pretending Troy Becker was a different person, but he was also trying to dupe unsuspecting followers into transferring their loyalties and likes to this new account. On top of this, his apparent desperation to convince them that Becker was a teenager and therefore a lot younger than Zimmer himself left many feeling uneasy. That's so weird. That is I know. creepy. And, and it's weird because he's 24, but he's acting like he's like 16. That's a oh. jump. Yes. Yeah, that's it's, a stretch, It's really baby. freaky because David has... Put him on the list to watch out for, people. It, it reminds me. That reminds me of that documentary, uh, Don't Fuck With Cats. Have you seen it? That, yes. No, everybody keeps talking about it. Dude, what, what is it? It's nuts. This is like the only documentary I've ever seen where it's like, it's the way it's structured. It's per, like... It goes from zero to a hundred, and it has like all like just just proof and evidence and footage. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's just don't don't say too much to give anything away because well, I want to watch it. Okay, well, it basically starts with um. There's this. Do you want me to explain it? Or sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um. It. Basically, there was this video that was released on the internet of this guy. Um, like purposely suffocating these kittens. It's awful. It's, it's awful. awful. And the internet just gets outraged by it. They start a Facebook group like going, well, let's hunt down this guy right. and As make sure. Should. Yeah, he well, gets- it's a girl. It's a girl. It's this girl. It's a lady and a man that make this group and they're like, hey, let's find this, this find this guy and it becomes this huge I've you know community to do that there's this so huge many out there online community out to find this guy and they start piecing uh 
pieces of the puzzle together. They and start he, putting he, pieces he of the puzzle together. Right. And he basically finds out these people are like trying to find him. So he's po- he starts purposely posting more videos and putting little clues just to fuck with them. And yeah. it gets, um, I don't want to ruin it, but where it goes is insane. Yeah, I it's a really recommend sad, you guys it's a really watch it. satisfying like documentary to watch. Yeah, you know when like you go down. So it has like, a good ending where you're like, mm, yeah, 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 cool. yeah, 100%. yeah, and it leaves yeah. you talking about it. I highly recommend. It's such it, a but good. It, it, it's such a good like um, a uh, idea for a movie. Like when I watch it, I was like, I'm surprised nobody has made a movie like. You know what? They have made a movie like that. Have you guys seen um? Un, untraceable. No. I feel like untraceable that they got the idea for that movie from this documentary. I know this documentary didn't come out yet, but I feel like this the whole situation was out. How long ago did this documentary come out? Uh like a few like a month ago. How long ago was the video of the guy strangling the cat? Oh, it was a long time ago. It was like, um, what, I think like, like a few I, I want to know few like, years. how long it took them to find this guy. Um. Oh, it took like two, three years. Two, two or three years. It was like a two, two three, three year years. process. Oh, so it was two, three years of just investigating and like. Yeah, it was like how two... far they went is like truly remarkable. Like they really did, did everything. Did they like start like day one? They're like, let's film this and document us no. trying to find. Oh like, no! I wonder no. how long they looked and were like, fuck. I think once the case was closed and more people like came forward and talked about like how the old origin of like finding out who this guy was. Gotcha. Then yeah. that's then they made it. But it's it's just a really well t- let's, but let's watch it tonight. Yeah. There's so many people that do that shit and it irks me. Like how many people like hurt animals. Yeah. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. It's like a mental thing and like yeah, that's, that's like like when kids hurt animals, that's like, like a big they need sign them. that it's yeah. a big sign that yeah. they could potentially be like a serial. Like, yeah, did, like yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer go get like roadkill and shit? And oh start my gosh, opening they them up, and collect like, them, and like, had his own like. Ooh. Do you remember there was kids on Twitter that posted the video of them throwing the cat, and they they yeah. got they found them. It went oh, viral. Immediately, like, and the shit cops like that. I feel, they find them. They find them quick. quick. Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad. Nobody, they, nobody they fucking. So trouble. That's worse than like uh, like murdering a human. Yeah. Like, but oh, dude, I just saw this the other day. And it made me feel so uncomfortable. I showed Mariah. It was these three kids. They were throwing bricks off of an overpass and dropping them onto cars as they were going by. No. Why? Like, why? Like, it's called like dinging, I guess, to like fuck cars up. Like they're trying to hit a car. Yeah. I don't know what sick, twisted oh. satisfaction you would get mm-hmm. from that. But they kept dropping them on cars as they would go by, and they dropped a brick through one of the guy's windshields, and it hit him, and it killed him instantly. Oh, my God. Yeah. They got caught, the three of them, and they're getting they're getting charged. Of course. I mean, they, But, like, that made me feel so uncomfortable knowing, like— And seeing their parents in court, and they were just, like, so traumatized and, like, embarrassed and, like— Ugh. Ugh. That makes me so angry. But like, imagine like just driving under an overpass, and oh god, that's terrifying. Smart. Not in courtroom four hundred two. Not today. today, Not not ever. ever. There's this clip of, um, I don't know what happened, but like it was like a serious. Oh, because they were laughing. Yeah, there was a serious guy. Like somebody killed somebody else while it was drunk driving, and they killed another person. And so they're uh, in the court. They're. They were they were at trial. They mm-hmm. were doing the trial, and this lady was like laughing. Like the uh, one of the the person who's being convicted, their family oh, members. Oh, I think I saw this. Yeah. Are are you know in the courtroom, and they yeah. start laughing, and the judge starts not having it, and then uh, go on. She, yeah, and she basically she was like, "Not in courtroom five hundred two. Not today, and not any other day. Not today, not, not ever. ever. Oh, like that's funny. Being escorted out. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see the nice. one girl that's like talking back to the judge, and he keeps bumping her time up? Oh, she, oh, she flips yeah. Him she flips him yeah. off. Bye, bye. Adios. <laughs> Come back, ma'am. Come back. Come one would be ten thousand. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. <laughs> Come back again. Come back again. I believe I heard you saying to. Yes, I did. I'm not going to the. I, I believe you. Did you say? Yes, I me. Thirty days in the county jail. Okay, that's fine. Thirty days in the county jail. I believe that she is represented by the public defender. It's not being represented by the public defender. Okay. And he keeps bumping up her time. Isn't it crazy that they have like so, like the power that they have? They could just send I feel like and that also job. Funny. That job's got to be so like. Oh, oh yeah, that, you're I'm a sure. judge. Have you ever seen like the, the the his videos always go viral of that really nice judge the who guy. like 
Who's like, like, like this. he's like, uh, you under, like, I have three kids and I got this parking ticket. Yeah. And he was really nice. Do you ever think that judge, though, like now has this reputation of being really nice where people like are like, oh, my God, like, I hope you're the nice judge. Yeah. And he's like, nope, those were just other times. Like, you can't <laughs> oh, get yeah, off. Yeah. Like, I feel like bad for that judge now because he can't. He feels like he either has to be nice or is he still stern Do you think everyone other else? judges are looking at him like. Uh, <laughs> probably the nice job. <laughs> probably you know what I think is a weird job are courtroom sketch artists like oh, why yeah. why you, why you is have, that a job why is that a thing it's a silly thing they go we can't let you take a picture but we'll hire a painter to come but then in. they film it yeah it makes no like I don't I think it depends it. on which certain courthouses allow cameras in their thing. But what it's so bizarre. You can only see a sketch of somebody, but they can't be a picture of the person. That is that's so yeah, interesting. That's really it's interesting. unnecessary. It's, it's silly. Like, un it's silly. It is pretty. I feel like it's a job that like used to be around like back in the day, and they just like they feel bad getting rid of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm sure. Take away jobs. Yeah, I'm sure back in the day, like before television, it was like you needed it. Like yeah. you needed a sketch of like what the person like looked like in court. And they were just like, it just didn't change with the time. I guess it's because in many jurisdictions, cameras are not allowed in courtrooms in order to prevent distractions and preserve privacy. Oh. This requires new media to rely on sketch artists for illustrations of the proceedings. But like, there's just don't we picture. have like the right to like see what's going on in a courtroom? Or I do say, you have I the right to privacy for paint your- Paint me pretty, bitch. Get my good side. <laughs> they literally have shows of courtrooms. My, uh, my parents' best friends, um, the mom- uh, she's a court reporter. Oh. And that's crazy. I never Ooh. even thought about that. Is that fun? So what she does is she sits there and types everything that is said during oh. the entire Short, trial. Like sh the shorthand thing. Have you ever oh. seen those types of uh, typewriters? Oh. They're amazing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th like, you can press three buttons, and that can equal like one word. And so you, they, they know as words are being said, <laughs> oh. instead of I'd typing so letter bad by letter. Imagine, I'm not, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Couple seconds behind, and you're just the you jury finds you. Wait, wait. They, they would just like pull out his phone and just click record and be like, <laughs> "I'll handle it later." Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my that's gosh, got, the pressure on that has got to oh, be yeah. insane too. Yeah, I mean, there's like they have to go to school for that, I think. But yeah, shorthand. Imagine. There's even like shorthanding not only on the typing thing, but like they back in like the 50s, that was a big thing. If you were like a secretary, like if your boss was telling you like. All right, make sure you call this person. Say, I got to book this meeting at yeah. this time. And they're like, yes, sir, yes, sir. There's like a certain way you're supposed to write oh, for like certain words and certain vowels. Cool. So it looks like, oh. like, yeah. So that, or like when like you go pull out a letter, like when there's always like a scene where like a boss in a movie goes, say this to this person. And like, yeah. and like they're keeping up really fast. They're doing shorthand, which is. I like want to learn that. That sounds interesting. Like yeah. you would write like T E S. H Y what like and yeah. you would know in your head what that means like why would be you so you don't have to write all of uh -huh. oh that, that's cool yeah that's yeah cool. it's it's interesting but it's like it's a lost like art form it now, sounds like, like uh, what know. was it like the the Betty Gigi Bagarai Bagarai Gigi Oh yeah Gibberish What a gut What a gut Adagar Yudagu Tadagak Gidiging What about So what do you Like what Like So basically you're adding like a idiga after every vowel so like your zidagain Hadagat Jida Zudagi. Matt Medagat Kidiging. Medagat Kidiging? Yeah. Matt King. Hidagi. Medagat Radagat. Ratatouille. Ratagay. Ratagay. It's gibberish. And then there's like, remember like there's Pig Latin? Yeah, I knew Pig Latin. Yeah. What's Pig Latin? Isn't Pig Latin where you take the first letter, you put it at the end, and you add A? So like, Ariame. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Matawe. Right. Oh, you take the second. Ariame. Yeah. I always used to think Ainze. it was so stupid just because Mato. I was jealous that I didn't know like how to do it. And like people, people in school quick. were so good at yeah. it. Yeah. I couldn't speak gibberish for the longest time. And then one day it clicked and I was like, I get it. But like these two girls that I was friends with, they would do it all the time. So I couldn't understand. Doesn't it suck saying. when they like, you just don't know what they're saying. That's it's really rude. funny. It's I mean, rude. it's funny seeing people <laughs> communicate like that and yeah. you just have no idea what the fuck they're saying. One more court thing. My uncle, the same uncle we've been talking about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have more uncles, I swear. But he's a, a court officer. And the one time uh, he texted all the cousins. He goes, does anybody know who Bobby Shmurda is? Because <laughs> 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 oh, he didn't funny. know who he was. And that's when this, what is about a week ago. That's when that first, like, that song first came out, and he like sent it. He was like, "Who's Bobby Schmurda?" <laughs> and he was in the courtroom asking us because he like came down. It was like his trial. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. It was really that's funny. really Bobby cool. Bobby still in jail, right? He's know. never. Is he ever going to get out? No. I don't know. I, I have no well, idea. What, what, what do you go to jail for?
Beats me. Uh, he like I don't know. Didn't he like invest to stuff? We should. <laughs> we have we have no idea. Talk about things we know nothing about. <laughs> so I am probably sound like an idiot. I, I think. Yeah, I guy. heard. I heard he killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> We're just giving fucking false. <laughs> we are so like, the, inaccurate. I feel like people listening are like telling their friends. Like oh. no 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 no. Zane and Heath said it on their <laughs> podcast. He's, and what's going on with six nine? Isn't he coming? Isn't he? Out? Isn't he in jail? Oh, wait, wait, did you hear that? He's here. No, Wait, I really did hear I just, something. I just heard something. Yeah. No, no, that, that, was, that was weird. It sounded like a door opening upstairs. That did sound like a do- door opening. What? Is it windy outside? I heard I like heard a, a door I heard, I heard it too. I heard it too. You heard- oh, I got chills. I'm getting chills. Stop, stop. Did you hear like a closed door or like... It was like a door open. Mar- 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 Mariah Mar- has, <laughs> is walking... Okay, well now you're making... No, I, I, heard- dude, I bet nobody's here. Mariah, talking to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm this this is what wait, I heard. Actually, wait, listen. I'm not kidding. You can watch the footage. I don't know if you noticed. I got very distracted. I kept looking in the hallway because I thought I saw shadows walking back and forth. I swear on my life you can look back. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I thought Matt heard, was wait, looking wait, wait, too. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what are you doing? All right, right now, right now, Heath is leaving the set. He's walking up the hallway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually really nervous too. So Heath right now is just in the foyer of his house, looking around, shouting. Okay, but if a door opens, the house beeps. Oh, it does beep, huh? No, I don't think it was anything. Trust me, we're being stupid and paranoid right now. Yeah, but this house- why did I just? Why did I get? I don't. I don't get chills. No, but it's. Oh, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's freaking me out. Just <laughs> hey, go. Just go. Act like a what maniac. What is happening, it, dude? No one's here. Yo, we need to get our. And shit if together somebody was quick. here, then they're they're doing a very bad job at giving themselves away <laughs> while we're recording a podcast, and now we're talking about them. All right, he's been. Oh, no! Please put that away. Oh my God! Put your gun away, bitch! Please stop! 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 I, I am protecting the group, Matt. Okay, he's know, protecting. But it makes me uncomfortable. Please. It's not. It's pointed at the ground. Matt, you're from Texas. You're fine. Relax. You're fine. No, no, no. It, it's not, no. It does feel safe, fucking knowing that Heath has a like okay, can save us. All right. You know. <clears throat> so Takashi Six Nine. We, we say threat up, baby. Don't judge me. Do you have a license for it? Yes. Of course he does. Of course. Nuts, <laughs> Mariah, stop looking there. Well, I know I'm a little. Do you want to switch places so that no, they'll, they'll, they'll okay. go after me first? Say, I'm on edge. Now. Okay, Matt, continue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It did freak me out. Uh, Why? <laughs> it's freaking me out more because I swear on my life I saw like twice, and I keep. I'm very distracted this entire podcast. I'm sorry. <sighs> Do you remember the night Mariah called? What? Bubba, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. What happened? What happened? Do you remember the night oh, Mariah called when us? We were in, uh, when we were in Big Bear? Big Bear. Mariah. Oh. Did we oh, talk oh, about oh, what happened? No, we didn't. We uh-uh. never. What happened to Big Bear? <sighs> I cried. You cried because of what? Um, she hurt. So- the, you know the, the tree that was right here? Yeah. And it had the, the coffee mug on top okay. as the uh, star oh, on top. Oh, it fell. The whole tree tipped over randomly, and what? the the why the, would it fall? The yeah. cup the cup shattered on the ground. So uh-huh. she was upstairs, and she just heard a cup smash on the ground. Oh, like, but before God. that glass. happened, I heard other things. Remember, I called you yeah. first, and I was like, I don't know why, I just have like a, such a weird feeling. It's like, and you're like, it's okay, like nobody's in the house, like whatever, check yeah. the rooms. Okay, hung up, the tree falls. I start, boy. but she didn't know it was the tree. She was just upstairs. Yeah, she I was just upstairs. heard like a, a cup smash, and Fuck. Heath and I, well. <laughs> Or Big Bear, and she FaceTimes us and is like, like you're in tears, and you were so scared. And I was like, just go outside and act like a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> no, Matt goes, Mariah, listen to me. Run outside and just start screaming. They're, they'll be more afraid of you. Just start yeah, yeah. screaming. Just like, ah! I've done that, though. I was, But the thing was, I was frozen in fear. I could not leave that room. I was like, I was in the, the office. I was like, I cannot leave this room. I can't. He, you, you were like, just go get the gun. Go get the gun. I was like, I, you don't understand. Like, I'm frozen. I don't think twice about it anymore. I just call 911 immediately. It's the worst feeling. Oh, my God. It's just so fucking scary. All right, Matt keeps looking. Why are you looking? Why are you looking? I don't know. I just feel like. Hello? Really? Do I get scared like this? But I am like. Wait, please don't. Please don't leave, guys. No. (laughs) No. No. We all have to go look at the house. But we should wrap this up, though. We. I mean, we're at it. Oh, I'm having so much fun. I know. I I feel good. No, let's get the hell out of here. Spooked. I'm done. I am. Take me out of the oven. Why not? Oh my god! Take chills. Why am I? I hate this feeling. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies, dog. Like up. 
Like I, well, is I, your house I, haunted? Well, because like I have to. I, okay. The reason why I keep looking is because you guys can't see, so I have to be on the lookout. No, I do think this. Oh come on! What? It's, what? Why is he? it moving? Because it's because it's, it's on a string. He. This one's not. Because his is against the couch. Come on, right, common right, sense, right. people. You might think this is crazy, but sometimes I feel like somebody's living in the attic. I feel that too sometimes. In my old house, I felt like somebody was in the attic. I never, you know what's crazy? I never checked my attic. Me I neither. bought the house and I sold it. I, and I never checked. looked in the Nobody attic once. Nobody was living in your attic. Have you have you, you heard seen the story? You, you heard it? That story is crazy. Wait, there's multiple stories. It is multiple yeah. stories. It's also but like an urban the legend. People, no, no, no. There's videos of it. People coming down out of the attic. They caught it on like their inside night camera. <laughs> the thing is, I know it's true, but I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> like not, people, not in my world. That doesn't happen. In the lot. middle, in the middle of the night, they'll come down and get, get food, food and, and go supply. back up. Yeah, Zane, stop. Matt, no, Matt. I'm because Matt's like, <laughs> do you have rats? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't know. I feel like you do have a rat in this house. The lady that owns this house, her husband died, and I think. Well, let's not acknowledge it. Yeah, let's not. You're putting, you're putting the vibes. You're putting the energy out. I'm guessing a rat. I don't want to know. I think I believe my hair plugs are um, haunted. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, said, he said my hair shut plugs up. split up. <laughs> <laughs> exercise All right. the uh, hair plugs. Exercise the demons. My hair plugs. <laughs> um, all right, well, that's all. That's it. That's all. We, oh, my God. Can Before I say it? something? Sure. Uh, I love you guys. I love oh, you, too, I love you, love too, you guys. I love you guys so much. Matt's been so happy the last couple of days. He well, walked, he's in love. He walked out of my house, and I saw him smelling the flowers. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he, you could tell he just got a and girlfriend. every day is a musical for Matt. He's singing and dancing. Oh, yeah. He's like, it, he's ch yeah, chippy. Love is in the he, air. he walked out. It's not on you. Did you want, want to be <laughs> loved by anyone? But before, <laughs> we, <laughs> before we leave, as an unfiltered group, can we check all the rooms? Yeah, okay. I'm down to do that. All right, okay. let's end this. All right, guys. Well, that's it. For, that's all the time we have for today. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's it for the next episode. <laughs> and this was the last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and they were never heard from again. Um, so yeah, we uh, upload. We upload every Monday on the Spotify, iTunes, all that podcast app, mm -hmm. whatever. And we upload every Tuesday on our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Zane and Heath. Mm -hmm. um, please give us a five star rating. Hopefully, we give you guys five, five star, star content. Five star. What? Five star, five star. Five star, five star, five star. Mm. And email us ideas and interesting topics that you'd like us to talk about. Yeah. I read all of them. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, just send fun things. Can you like can you tell them the email about. again? It is. Yeah. Zane and Heath unfiltered at gmail.com. Send us anything you want us to talk about and we'll talk about it. Because we always need stuff to talk about, you know. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. We're gonna go uh we're gonna go check this house out and make sure nobody is in here. All right, we'll talk to you guys. I might be a uh, owner of a house by next yeah, yeah. podcast. Oh my God. Exciting. Right. Uh, let us say goodbye to our friends. <sighs> so you think it's Bye. awesome? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I gotta oh, pee. You guys were All listening. right, guys. We'll see you next Monday. All right, bye, guys. Day. We love you so we much. We love y'all. Peace and blessings.